You can even put your fingers in there. It'll grab them, but it won't break bones. Well, I'm out here in my yard in the blueberry patch. We have 18 blueberry plants and they're just starting to flower. And I've noticed that a mole is digging up all around. They're disturbing the roots, so we're gonna trap it. Today for Mouse Trap Monday, I'm gonna show you a very easy way to catch a mole. So here's the mole trap I'm gonna use. It's made by Swiss Inno and it looks to be a spring-loaded scissor style trap. What I like so much about this trap is when it's set, the top is flat. And when you catch a mole, it's bent over. That way you can check the trap from across the yard. We'll go ahead and take it out of the box. They call this trap the super cat. In the center, there's a spring. Right in the middle is a trigger. And on both sides are scissor blades. Now to catch a mole, you have to bury the scissors and the trigger below ground in a mole tunnel. To set it, you pull the top here and it clicks into place. Here's where the tunnel will be as they go through. They'll push up the trigger, it will close and catch them. This is very sensitive. As soon as you touch the top, it snaps shut. We'll go ahead and set that again. To show you how the trap works, we have our toy mole. His name is Mr. Molly, and he's much larger than a real mole, but he'll come through the tunnel, put his body through the scissors. You can get them coming from either direction. And when they go in there, they're blocked with the trigger. So they'll push it up and when they do, it closes right on their body or head. Let's go set up the super cat in the blueberry patch to catch that mole. The first thing we need to do is locate the mole tunnel. Then we can place our trap. My dog is very curious because it pushed up dirt right here. And there's also dirt pushed up. So it's somewhere in between. We're going to dig down and find that tunnel. It's going right along my irrigation pipe here. I can feel the main tunnel. It turns and goes underneath our concrete walkway. When the mole travels the tunnel, it will go through the jaws, lift up the trigger, and when he does, it will look like that. I'm gonna do this a few times to make sure the jaws are free. Then backfill it so it's nice and dark. That looks good. We'll come back and check our trap in the morning. So it's now the next day, and as you can see, our trap has been tripped. So I'm gonna pull this out of here. And we have a mole. Well, overall, the Super Cat Mole Trap made by Swiss Inno can be very effective. As you can see, when set correctly in the mole tunnel, it works well at catching the moles. My one complaint is the trigger is very sensitive. I call it snappy. And you might have some misfires. It might be empty. It might go off before the mole's fully in the scissors. My all-time favorite mole trap is the Victor Out of Sight. It's also a scissor trap. But that trap is so powerful, you can't set it with your fingers. You have to use these levers. And it's pretty dangerous. This one is not as powerful. You can even put your fingers in there. It'll grab them, but it won't break bones. So because it's more safe, I highly recommend it, especially if you practice with it, getting it right in the mole tunnels, you can take care of your mole problems. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking that button. I've posted over a thousand videos on YouTube and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you want to see the best videos on how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.